Tonight on board the Disney Wish, we are dining at Enchante. This is their French specialty restaurant. Um, this is an additional fee, and you do have to have a reservation to dine here. Um, so we booked ours quite far in advance, as far as we could, um, but we have been seated. It is beautiful in here. It's nice and bright. I love the decor. It's like a lot of white and gold, and they brought out the menus, and what is really cool, we didn't realize this, so when we sat down, there was this little like white something on the table, and it was actually a holder for the menu. That way, if you get champagne, you can sit here and sip and enjoy your champagne while you're looking at the menu, um, which I really enjoy. But So uh, the a la carte and the prefix menus are both listed on here, and then also on the back, they also have kind of the story of the restaurant. I did get some rosé Tattinger champagne to start, and we have some food coming. So before we have decided if we are getting anything a la carte or a prefix menu, I do know I am getting a prefix menu. Josh hadn't decided quite yet, um, but they did bring us out some like a mousse. There are three different things. There are finger foods. One has cheese, one is a falafel, and then one is like herbs. Um, it looks really good and it smelled really good when they brought it over to the table. So I'm excited to try it and see how flavorful everything is. Um. That falafel was amazing. So uh, this second course is um, really interesting. We're finishing it off with tomato water. All right, so these are the soil-grown tomatoes. It's just one tomato, and it is uh, cooked for 12 hours. Um, and it's really, really amazing, super tender. A little bit of sweetness in there. They add some uh, black olives. There are some art or, um, anchovies in there, a little saltiness. Um, some little like I think like they're crispy like chips on us um, absolutely fantastic and then served with all of this great color um, I'm really shocked that uh, I enjoy I'm enjoying this as much as I am because I really would not have thought that I would like tomatoes this much it smells like cucumber water Um, yeah, sorry, my face is not that it tastes bad or anything like that. It's just, it's unfamiliar and it is a little surprising. I know you can't hear Taylor because she doesn't have her mic, but it's just, um, it's very different. It's almost like it wants to be a cucumber water, but it's a little more, um, like almost like a, a sour kind of smoothness to it. I don't know. I don't want to drink it, but part of me wants to keep drinking it. Like it's almost like a little salty. So Taylor got a uh, champagne, glass champagne. So I went with a rum old fashioned. And uh, it's made with a uh, 23 year Zacapa. It's pretty good. Well, what I will say so far about eating here with Taylor is that it's really easy to film the food because we've got the same thing. <laughs> yeah. Unlike Remy on the Fantasy, where we had two different plates. It's very easy. There are two different menus that you can order. There is a, I believe this is a seven course? No, this is five. Five? The other one's nine. Okay, so we have the five course, which is like the traditional menu. It is called Passion. And then there is another menu that is like the chef's specialty. It's nine courses. It is a little bit more expensive. Um, the courses are a little bit smaller and obviously it does take longer for that one. We decided just to go with the regular Passion meal tonight um, and everything has been excellent so far. The tomato water was very surprising, but I will tell you, if you continue to kind of like swirl it and like smell it, uh, you can pick out the different flavors. They said like they're, I mean, they're, it's a little more complex than this, but it's tomato water, cucumber water, and celery water.
and you can really like the first thing whenever I smelled it I was like this smells like celery and then I gave it a few minutes and I was like no this smells like cucumber so like I could really smell all the different components to it and I'm really surprised that I liked the tomato dish because I don't really like tomatoes but I said you know what this is Disney Cruise Line. This is Enchante. <laughs> it is bound to be good. And it was. I ate all of it. Um, the little broth that came on the side with the bread for dipping was amazing. Um, the tomato water itself. I mean, this was a whole tomato course. Um, but the tomato confit itself, you know, 12 hours cooked in butter. Amazing. Um, and I am very excited for this crab course. So crispy tart on the bottom. And I don't know if you guys can hear it, but Taylor's, uh, you can hear the crispiness of the tart on the bottom. It smells amazing when you cut it open. And then I believe it's like a langoustine jelly on the top. There is so much flavor in that little bite. Mm. I mean, you can really taste the crab, but everything else that is in this dish. Like, you have to eat this course slowly so that you can savor all of the flavors that are in right. there. <laughs> well, mention too, though, that this, if you come oh. and eat this here, this mm -hmm. might not be what you get. This, uh, they, they either ran out of or they weren't able to get yeah, any this was of a the... substitute for the John Dory fish. Um, that was supposed to be for this course tonight, but I will say I am not just not that I, I don't know what the John Dory course was, um, but this is definitely a very suitable replacement dish. I'm not a huge crab fan, so for me and my palate, it doesn't necessarily jive, but um, you know, I mean, if you enjoy crab, this is going to be right up your alley if you have this. We are presenting Le Fluton. It's a Hollywood from Alaska. It's a grilled a la plancha with a little bit of corn oil. And beside, they have the selection of onion. The first onion, the small one on the top, is a normal white onion petals, caramelized uh, with uh, butter and uh, muscle juice. Sorry, but I did get stuck. <laughs> In the middle, we have a half cipollini caramelized with butter. And the last one, the square, is uh, a gratin of uh, onion, shiso, and butter, uh, muscle juice. Okay, what I serve now? Um, that looks amazing. This is a signature dish from the the Pigeon Pie. So you can see inside uh -huh. beautiful layers with your spinach, cinnamon, yeah. tomato, pancetta, foie gras, and the pigeon on top. Okay. All around is a uh, uh, turnip. So we have uh, this is a miso condiment. You have a little uh, turnip filled with the pigeon leg, confit, and we put it. That is absolutely delicious. I had to think for a minute while I like kind of took in all the different texture and flavor that was in there. Um, and then with the sauce, it you do almost get like, I feel like you almost get a little bit of like gaminess from the squab, but not in a bad way. Um, it's almost that like, okay, I know that I'm eating squab right now, um, but all those flavors in there, absolutely amazing. I don't get the, I don't really get the gaminess that Taylor was talking no. about in there, um, but it's definitely super tender, a lot of different flavors going on in there, um, but all in all, pretty good. So we are uh, getting to the end of this you know, really nice dinner. And we've hit the cheese, and you know, I've hit a cheese wall. It's actually a food wall, really. So I'm calling it. I have a blue cheese, which is fantastic. 
but uh, I'm definitely ready for the desserts to come on out. Now I'm gonna go to sleep. So what's nice about this um, is that they make it kind of like a show, and then they also explain all of the cheeses that you get uh, put on the plate in front of you. So they don't put the same cheeses on each plate. They actually divide, um, what is it, like 12 or 13 cheeses um, between the two guests. Um, and so Taylor has like, you know, six different ones and I have five different ones and we can kind of eat off of each other's plate. Um, and uh, it's nice. It's a good sharing moment of trying different types of cheeses. It's a lot of cheese. Um, but it's all really good. It's fantastic, top-notch stuff, so. So before our official dessert comes out, we have some pedophores they just brought out. Um, there is a little coffee and caramel, like tart almost. Uh, some mango passion fruit gelée, and then a white chocolate something. And I forget what the other one is, but everything looks really good. Okay, so we just finished eating at... Enchanté. Enchanté. <laughs> so it's equivalent to Remy's on the fantasy and the dream. Mm hmm and the magic three. no oh okay only palo on the other ones um uh, and <laughs> it's uh it's a decent restaurant it's very good uh a decent restaurant yeah. i thought that was an excellent meal you know it's service a service was great michelin yeah. star chef who's mm -hmm. not currently on the ship obviously because he's got mm -hmm. 500 other things he's got to worry about but <laughs> you know um set up the menu so mm -hmm. it's good it is a french cuisine mm -hmm. yes it is Anything bad? <laughs> no, it was just overall very good. Go with an empty stomach <laughs> because yeah. even though the portions are smaller, you are still eating a lot of food. Yeah, there's it adds bread up. courses in between, and you know they've got an extra like a mousse bouche at the beginning, and then they have right. extra pedophores at the end before you have your dessert. And yeah. it's a lot of cheese for the cheese course. So yeah, um, it's a lot of food. <laughs> it's good. It's, it's really good quality food. Um, mm -hmm. Obviously, if you have issues with trying new things, might not be up your alley. But if you yes, do want to try sure. something new, definitely give it a try. Oh, yeah. The five course meal that we did or menu that we did um, was $125 per person. Mm -hmm. So it's about $250. Plus some tax, 18% yeah. gratuity. I did have D champagne. Josh yeah. had a rum old fashioned. Yeah. Um, and so that added up to somewhere about like 300. 30, 330, 30 something like that. So yeah. it's expensive. You know, um, be prepared if you're. Yeah. If you're concerned about it, maybe don't do this. Right. But if you're thinking about going there, just add that into your budget, just like yeah. you would with anything else. It's a nice restaurant. I think that the biggest difference between this and Remy is that it's just so bright and inviting. Yes. And, and I really like that. Yes. I have noticed that about the whole entire ship. Everything is just, you know, more like light almost. Yeah. Um, yeah. And it, it's not necessarily the actual lighting itself, but the overall decor and everything else about the ship. Right. So, yeah, it was good. And uh, let us know if you are planning to try, because the ship's only been on <laughs> about for a few weeks. Two uh, months. And uh, let us know what you think. And we'll see you all in the next one. <laughs>